So in A, we're told to graph the following inequalities, and we have got y is less than negative x squared plus 4x plus 12. So in order to graph this, we're first of all going to have to graph the parabola y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x plus 12. So I'm just going to write here that we want to start with y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 12. I'm going to try to find the x-intercepts, which means I will set y equal to 0. So I'll set y equal to 0. I'm going to start by taking out a common factor of a negative 1. So that would give me x squared minus 4x minus 12. I'm doing that because it's easier to factor if I have a positive x squared. So now I'll leave that minus there, and I will factor this using inspection. So I'll have an x and an x. What two numbers multiply to negative 12 add to negative 4? Well, I need a negative 6 and a positive 2. So that will give me x-intercepts at 6 or at negative 2. So again, those are the values that make my factors equal to 0. So I know my graph crosses the x-axis at 6 and at negative 2. I can see that my y-intercept is just the constant. If I set x equal to 0, I would only be left with a 12 there. So my y-intercept is 0 and 12. Now 0 and 12 is a little bit hard to show there because it's just above my grid. And what I also know here is that this graph is opening down. Okay, y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 12. The leading coefficient is a negative 1. So I know that my graph opens down. Now I could also find the exact coordinates of the vertex, but I don't think we need to be quite that specific. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a parabola that opens down and goes through the points that I've plotted. The other thing I'm gonna to have to take note of, because this is just a less than sign, not less than or equal to, I need a broken line. Okay, not, not a solid line, but a broken line. So my parabola that I'm gonna draw might look something like this. Now, I think it's important that you extend those arms all the way down to the bottom of your grid. Okay, now that broken armed parabola, that broken line parabola, divides my grid into two regions. I've got the region inside the parabola that's kind of underneath the mountain, and I've got the region outside of the arms, okay? So on to the left or to the right of those or of the blue broken line. So what I need to do now is I need to decide which region am I gonna shade in. So just like we were doing with linear inequalities in two variables, we choose a test point. I like to choose zero, zero, so I'm gonna choose my test point, which is going to be 0, 0. I go up here to my original inequality. That's y is less than negative x squared plus 4x plus 12. I'm going to put 0, the x coordinate, in for x. I will put the y coordinate in for y. And I'm going to see if this satisfies the inequality. I'm going to see if this is true or not. So I would have 0 is less than negative, actually, nope, just, just kidding there. It, I would have 0 is less than the negative of 0 squared plus 4 times 0 
plus 12. Working that out, it would mean that 0 is less than, on the right-hand side, I'm just going to have 12, and I think that 0 is less than 12. That is definitely true. So it means I shade the region that contains my test point. So I'll just go over here, and I'm going to say because my test point made the inequality true, I would want to shade the region that contains the test point. Shade the region that contains the test point. So I go up here to the graph. I find where my test point is. That's 0, 0. That test point is located inside the parabola. So I'm going to shade the entire region inside my parabola. And what this means is any points located in that pink shaded region, if I take any point that lies in there, its coordinates will satisfy the inequality and it'll make my inequality true. All right. If we go over to B, okay, so we go over to B here. A couple of things I'm going to take note of first. I have a greater than or equal to sign, or greater than or equal to sign, which means that I will be doing a solid line when I go to graph my parabola. I am going to take this over here, so y is greater than or equal to negative 2x squared plus 8, and I am just going to find the x-intercepts, so I'm going to pretend that this is equal, y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 8. I will, again, factor this. I'm going to take out a common factor of a negative 2. That would leave me with x squared 8 divided by negative 2 is a minus 4. I will further factor this. Difference of squares, x plus 2, x minus 2. And to find my x-intercepts, I'll set y equal to 0. To find my y-intercepts, I'll set y equal to 0. And I hope I said that right. To find the x-intercepts, I'll set y equal to 0. And I'll get x equals negative 2 or x equals positive 2. So those are my x intercepts. So I'll go over to my graph. I'll plot my x intercepts at negative 2 and positive 2. I will take note that my y intercept, y intercept is the constant up there, so that's 0 and 8. If I replaced x with 0, I would have a y-intercept of 8, so I'll plot that on here. y-intercept is 8, and I also know that the leading coefficient here is a negative, so my graph opens down. So, I'm going to draw a parabola made up with a solid line opening down that's going to go through these points. So it would look something like, that's not very good. I'm going to try that again, guys. Try again. Maybe looking like that. Again, I suggest you extend, oh, that's not so good. Extend the arms so it comes, oh, I'm failing at this. I apologize. Try again. It's going to come down. I want it to kind of come more a little bit straight. Good enough. Maybe that's okay. And then I'll draw this arm coming down. Something like that. So there's my parabola. Solid line because of that greater than or equal to sign. Now I've got to decide which region I'm going to shade. So I choose my test point. 
and I'm going to choose that test point of 0, 0. I'm going to put the coordinate 0, 0 into my original inequality, which was y is greater than or equal to negative 2x squared plus 8. So in for y goes 0, greater than or equal to negative 2 times in for x goes 0, 0 squared plus 8. And that's then going to say that 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2 times 0 squared, that's just 0, plus 8. And how do we feel about the fact that 0 is greater than or equal to h? Well, this is not true. It means that my test point of 0, 0 does not satisfy my inequality. So I do not shade the region that contains my test point of 0, 0. So we look on here, the test point 0, 0 is located inside or underneath the parabola. That did not satisfy my inequality, so I need to shade outside of the parabola. I'm shading all of this region that lies outside of the parabola. And any points located in that pink shaded region will satisfy the inequality.